what's up everybody so uh yeah it's gonna be real hot today um this is not gonna be a very long video but just wanted to bring up a few things regarding flying your drone when it's hot it's kind of crazy uh here in california as you can see we got some triple digit weather coming up put a picture right there for you you can see that um and you know what i've flown my drone before when it's really really hot outside and you have to understand when you fly a drone in heat you're already heating up the drone just by the components within the drone working within itself um, I see a lot of videos of guys from the Midwest or the East Coast flying their drones and saying that hey you got to be careful about flying your drone in uh, what they consider to be extremely cold weather it can freeze your gears and out here where I live in California that's not so much of an issue it's more of an issue with heat so, like I said, triple digit weather. So for me, um, if I was gonna get some drone shots today, what would I do? Well, clearly I would start early in the morning. Uh, that's the kind of weird thing about where I live. Um, Sacramento, uh, again, the weather varies gradually. It's, it's crazy. So it can start out 55, 65 in the morning. And then like today, get as hot as 102 degrees. Insane. Uh, then later on the night, go back down to 60, 70, 65, so then you're safe to dry, uh, fly again, but you got to think about that too, because it, now it's getting dark, so of course you don't want to fly too much in the, in the uh, dark unless you have a special license for that, of course. So just a lot of different things to consider um, when you're talking about flying in extreme weather, whether it be hot or cold. Um, outside of that, same old, same old over here. Uh, looking to get some new footage again for that you can also check out my West Coast or the West Coast Flyer uh, Instagram page there's a, a link to that it was not a link but it's right there in writing so you can look at that um, that's usually where I put a lot of footage I'm gonna try to get footage on here too um, I know people like come to YouTube to see drone footage which is cool uh, I personally do a lot of short clips because you know, you can only do so much with drone footage, right? Who wants to really watch hours and hours of you flying? Now, what I'm looking working on, I know everyone's at different areas and different places in their drone flying techniques, but I am working on more cinematic views, more sweeping views. Uh, hopefully I can get that going in the next, I don't know, couple of days or so. Um, you know, but honestly, you just gotta get out there and practice. That's the bottom line. You gotta get out there and practice. You gotta, be out there with your drone, putting it in the air. Um, it, I know for me, flying my drone causes like a little bit of anxiety, being realistic, but you gotta be willing to just do things, try different things. Um, you know, if it makes it better for you to fly, keeping it in line of sight so you see everywhere where your drone is, do that, but then practice those moves with your drone that make those views look a lot more cinematic and. Of course, uh, I'll be keeping in touch with everyone about my part 107. I know I've mentioned this before. I took it, didn't pass it. I don't wanna talk about it no more, but I'm gonna be working on getting it again, hopefully soon. You gotta practice and get that. So uh, I know there's a lot of study guides out there, uh, people that have provided ways to get your part 107. I appreciate that too. Thank you so much for anyone that's making videos on that or uh, contributing to different classes. You know, It might be worth it to pay for a class to get your part 107, I don't know. You know, the whole test is already $160. So to pay another, I don't know what, $160 just to be, or $200 to do a class that they say ensures you pass it, but still a lot of money. So anyway, uh, hope everyone's having a great day. If this dialogue brought any kind of enjoyment to your day, uh, go ahead and smash that like button, really appreciate it. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, working on bringing more content. Uh, again, I know I mentioned this in another video too. This is not just about drones. Um, you might hear me talk about other stuff right now. I got my eye on that Ford F-150 Lightning. A lot of people do. I'm looking at it myself. Dope truck. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and look that video up. There's a lot of videos on it. I know Marquise Brownlee, MKHD, he does a lot of videos. Or I think I didn't say it right, MK. I always forget how to say his name, MK something. But anyway, he did a great video on it. Check it out. Uh, Ford F-150 Lightning is going to be a hot truck 2022, y'all. It's coming. Uh, in the meantime, like I said, smash that like button. 
If you felt like we bought you some great content today, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, I'm out.